Hey guys, it's me. Um, I actually just made this video, but forgot to turn my mic on, so I'm kind of annoyed now. I'm going to remake it for your viewing pleasure, because you can hear what I say in the other video, but the sound is not that great. Anyways, so this is all the spreadsheet. It's on the Google Drive. Um, what did I say? Pretty much what we did last year is we tried to quantify what makes a boat more stable, what makes it more movable, what makes it faster, and what makes it lighter, in terms of some geometric coefficients that we get from Delftship. So these are the boats we made last year. We all have Delftship models for each of these boats. And the corresponding coefficients from Delftship. Now, Nick, I put the link in the tutorial in the video and email, uh, which shows you how to get these coefficients for your models. So what I want you to do is to come here and put your boats and all the coefficients and then we'll work the analysis and we'll see what we get. Uh, now this is not a Google Drive so each one of you are going to put your boats, you're going to save the file as your name and then I'll put them all together in one gigantic spreadsheet. So now the really nice the important stuff about how the spreadsheet is I guess these cells over here. It's kind of like our optimization objective function, whatever you want to call it, equation. Um, so for each of the parameters, we get a score. Now, the way we determine what the scores are is on these sheets using the tests we did. So pretty much each parameter has an equation we solve for. Um, I guess this is the equation we solve for, which uses certain coefficients and gives a score. Then we normalize everything and we get a number, we add numbers, and we get an improvement factor, which is the number for the boat. Uh, as you can see here, this is Anna. It was about the highest improvement factor of 4.66, and that's how we chose it. Now, Nick and I are really happy with what came out of the spreadsheet, mainly because, at least to us, it's not bullshit. Um, if you look at the results here, they make sense. Um, let's look at the first one, weight. Um, here we have the longer, wider boats, and they weigh uh, a bit more than these boats. So let's say Anna 61.2, this one's 65. Well, this one got 0.947 in the score, and this got 1.13. So this got a better score because it was lighter. For stability, this boat's wider, so you would think it'll get a better score. As you can see, the beam here is 0.734, and the beam for Anna is 0.721. And it did get a higher score, it got 1.6 compared to Anna's 1.3. Maneuverability, you would think that Anna, being a shorter boat with higher rocker, will have more maneuverable, will be more maneuverable than the wider boat with the same amount of rocker. And that was true. See, 1.2 compared to 0.8. And wave resistance is the drag on the boat in the water. And this boat should have less wave resistance because the beam is smaller. And that was also true, 1.05 compared to 0.92. And, uh, yeah, there you go. My first video was a lot longer, but I guess I skipped all the bullshit. So, yeah, like I said, I want you to do is just put the boats here, save them, and need the boat, final boat to be done by Friday and sent to milling. Uh, I think it's more likely to be done by probably next Monday, so we have the weekend to work on it. Anyways, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, yeah, let's try to get that done as soon as possible so we can then discuss what we're going to do with the actual final boat.